I got a new candle. Am I even just pointing at it? Probably not. <laughs> My Opal House. Target. Wildflowers. Thought it was cute. Also, this vibe. Look at my little gnome guy. Look at him! He's so cute! Come on, assistant. Good boy. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Guess what? I found another scam. I did. And also, guess what? They already blocked me. Yep. Before I could even think I wanted to make a video about them, they blocked me. So guess what? Of course, I made a video about them. And that's, that's this. That's what you're watching right now. Wiggum agrees. Today, we're going to be talking about kick weight with K with key with Kai key key because her name's Keisha so key kick kick weight with key kicking weight with key Keisha you get it anyways so I was minding my own business on TikTok as one does and you know when you accidentally press the live part not like for you to go live but you press the live thing and then you next thing you know you're watching someone just manhandle a clam and sh try to sell you pearls on a live stream or there's like there are people doing like crystal shit and like random stuff or they're in front of a whiteboard and there's like stuff on it it's tiktok's a wild wild place i found myself in someone's live stream and it was this person and she was on the like stationary bike with a ring light in front of her in what I assume is a a, a basement. It looks like a, a basement, kind of, I don't know, an office park, who knows? And she's doing a live stream and she starts to say that you can lose up to 30 pounds in a month. And then she was saying that you can use, lose 17 pounds in one week. You can lose 18 pounds in one week. You can lose this much weight. Oh, well, guess how? by doing a seven day liquid diet. I'm not joking, a seven day liquid diet. The only reason, the only reason you should be doing a seven day liquid diet is if you're pulling a Kanye and you have to have your jaw wired shut. There's no other reason for you to do a liquid diet. Absolutely not. It is so unhealthy. It was so crazy to hear someone say that. And of course, I'm not really surprised because she's one of those people who wears like, who not only, turns out sells waist trainers, but just swears by them. And it's like, you know that that crushes your insides, right? You know that that like doesn't really help you lose weight or maintain muscle or it's all water weight. Like that's not, that's not okay. It's not okay. Um, so I commented and said, this is so dangerous and unhealthy. And then I saw her lean forward to her phone, press something. And I was like, did I just get blocked? I got blocked. I got blocked. So I took a screenshot real quick. And then I decided right then and there, Keisha, welcome to your tape. Encouraging people, not only encouraging people, promoting this type of awful diet and awful quick scheme of losing weight so quickly is extremely unethical, extremely unhealthy, and extremely dangerous. Not only that, she sells um, like these programs and challenges and obviously like workout, not obviously, but she also sells like workout clothes and stuff like that. Um, waist trainers, programs, like all this other stuff on her website too. On TikTok, she has 463.8 thousand followers. And then on YouTube, she has, I believe right now as of filming this, 14.8 thousand subscribers. And I wanted to find a video of where she was talking about the liquid diet. And essentially it's like a fast, right? And I'm sure you've probably seen people who promote these like juice cleanses and things like that where you are drinking juice for a week straight and not actually putting any food in your body. That's not okay. That's not healthy. That's restricting what your body actually needs. And it's not, this is all my own opinion. I am not trying to entice hate or cruelty or anything like that towards this person. What I do here is if I find a scam, listen, if I got to see it, you have to too. Okay. It's no surprise that this person is also a keto crazed type of person as well. And again, keto isn't really, it's a fad. It's not, it's not really sustainable at all. And when you are promoting people losing 90 pounds in six months, you know, 30 pounds in a month, which she has said multiple times on her TikTok, on her profiles, on her YouTube channel, when you're promoting that, it's not like there's no, just like there's no get rich quick scheme. There's no lose weight super quick and be able to actually maintain it as well. When you are doing that to your body, you're shocking your body 
and it's you're not going to be able to maintain it. Typically with these fad diets with um a lot and sure a modified keto go for it but not like what what she's talking about. This type of stuff really shocks your body and typically you are going to gain weight right back and usually more as well. That's why most diets do not work. It is a lifestyle change is what you should do if you are trying to live a healthier life and lose weight or get in shape or be healthier. Okay, I know that was long. I'm sorry, but I had to get all that out because it's really frustrating and I cannot stand this type of shit. Of course, I'm not a health and wellness professional, coach, whatever. I do have a lot of friends that are. I consult with a lot of people before I make these types of videos and I will have my favorite one linked down below. Actually, two of them. They are amazing. You should definitely go follow them. I will have their um, Instagrams up here on the screen as well. One is uh, Marissa and then one is Kaylee. They are both awesome. They have actual credentials and I don't know if this lady does, but I assume that she doesn't because what she's promoting is fudging crazy, but they are great. Go follow them. They are, they're wonderful and actually like give you good advice. Hey guys, I'm so excited today. I just completed a seven day liquid diet and I got the results for you today. So make sure that you click that subscribe button. Click it right now because I don't. I just completed a seven day liquid diet and now my body's shutting down is what it should say. I want you all to miss out anything and turn on those notifications as well. But I got pictures for you. I got weigh-ins for you. I got I got all juicy stuff today. So you want to make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end because I'm about to show you those results. Hey guys, it's your girl Keisha. Just like the title says, dramatic weight loss. That's right. I did a seven-day liquid diet, and I'm gonna show you these results. Now, before we get into results. Come a little closer, I got a secret for you. Click that subscribe button. Click those, turn those notifications on because I don't want you all to miss out on anything. I know you want to be a part of the gang gang over here because over here we kicking this weight and we kicking it fast. So dramatic. Not her shirt saying boss lady. Also asking people to subscribe or telling them to subscribe is not a secret. That's not a secret. What is a secret? Actually, it's not a secret. It's clear. It's very clear and blatant is that what you're doing is extremely unhealthy. But I mean, hey, at least she's practicing what she preaches, right? Dramatic weight loss. Those are the protein shakes that I was actually taking. So I have some of the mocha, but I also have some of the chocolate as well. Basically, you drink about six of these in a day. You're going to put it in a bottle similar to this. Fill your water up to about here, and then you're gonna take the shake, pour it right on in there, guzzle that thing on down, six of these a day, every two and a half to three hours. Now, other than that, first thing in the morning, what I would do is I would take my apple cider vinegar shot. So I take about a teaspoon of this, mix it with some fresh lemons, and a little shot of water, guzzle that thing down like a shot, and that's my morning regimen. Other than that, I drink about three of these a day. It takes about two and a half bottles of water to fill this up. So drinking three of these a day, by the end of the day, not too hard to do. But um, the main thing that I would suggest for you is to always put in fresh lemons. Because you put the fresh lemons in there, it helps aid with your weight loss, and it has a lot of vitamin C in there. So that's all that I have for seven days. Let's get right to these pictures, and let's get right to this weigh-in. Here we go. So this is day two. Day one um, went pretty smoothly. Um, at the end of the night, I kind of got some cravings. Um, and it wasn't cravings for like sweets or anything like that. It was just cravings for like the normal snacks that I typically eat. Girl, that ain't cravings. That's just hunger. Your body was hungry because all you did was drink water all day and then drink a bunch of protein shakes. How much, like... How much are you just peeing and pooping? Like, let's be real. And I, I've looked up the uh, the DWL shakes, the dramatic weight loss shakes. And let me know if, because I was assuming it would be some type of MLM bullshit, but let me know if y'all can find it because the only thing I can find is ProFast. And I can't find any other, like that's the brand. I can't, and I, I don't know if it's related to the dramatic weight loss shakes. The only dramatic with, an in capitals, dramatic weight loss. So I'm assuming it's the name of the brand, dramatic weight loss 
Loss Shakes is the, like, a, a WordPress website. I can't find anything else, which is so, so weird. I found, um, there's, like, a link to it for my fitness pal, and there's a thing that says, like, how many calories. How many of those did she say that you were gonna have a day, though? Okay, so here's the thing. She said that you're gonna have six of those a day. I just saw on my fitness pal and I'll screenshot it so I can put it up on the screen for you. But I just found that on uh, my fitness pal, which is an app that I've even used before as well. And I I've, I've thought that app was helpful. Um, but that app says that the DWL, the dramatic weight loss chocolate shakes, protein shakes are 100 calories per packet. So if you're doing that and just drinking water, you are consuming 600 calories a day. She also says later on that she's she works out during this this thing as well. You are starving your body. You are absolutely starving your body. 600 calories a day isn't even enough to keep a baby alive, a newborn. Like this is absolutely starvation. This is absolutely could be considered anorexia and restricting and just starving yourself. And it's not it's absolutely not okay at all. And no one should do this. Um, since I have been eating healthy, um, things like um, like almonds or some pork skins, chicken skins, things like that. Um, but it is a liquid cleanse, liquid diet, whatever you want to call it. So kind of pushed through that. And basically what I did was I got some warm tea, drunk that, that kind of settled that urge, that edge, and um, kind of went to bed after that. Now I did get a little bit I did get a little bit more, I did get tired a lot earlier than I would normally go to bed. Um, so that's one thing that it did cause um, yesterday. Woke up this morning. I did get tired. So I did go to bed earlier. Yeah, because your body doesn't have enough in it to even stay awake. A slight headache, but I took some Advil, got rid of that. So I'm ready for day two and let's get it. All right, so day two is over. This is day three. Um, yesterday felt okay, but I did get hungry. Um, but I did notice that I wasn't drinking as much water as I was drinking before, so that may have been the reason why. Um, but it, yesterday was a little bit harder for me than the first day. But that may have been the reason why. No, no, it's because you're not eating. You are not putting food in in your body. Please, for the love of, listen, you might hate me and you might just be hate watching me right now, but please don't do this. Please do not do this. Day, but we made it through. Um, this is day three. What I'm going to do tomorrow is that we're going to check our ketone levels um, just to see if we're in ketosis mode because it typically takes about three to four days to get into ketosis mode. So we'll check that tomorrow, day three. Let's get it, guys. has been completed this is now day four day three was better than day two so i think it's going to get better as we continue with this journey um but it's pretty easy to get through day three wasn't that bad um not feeling hungry because i kept on drinking my protein shakes as well as my water on schedule um, so my protein shakes, I drink those every two and a half to three hours. So I made sure that I continued to do that throughout the day. So that way I wouldn't get hungry. Um, but I also drank a lot of water. I drink at least six bottles of water a day. Um, that's what kept me full. The day before, I, I didn't drink as much water. So I did notice that I did get a little, um, I did get hungry that day. Um, but today we're also going to test and make sure that we're in ketosis mode. Did you know that when people aren't eating properly and essentially not enough calories for their body to actually function, they typically have a hard time like speaking and actually like forming sentences. And a lot of times they can forget words and things like that. Happened to me. I would forget the most like I could I couldn't remember. I remember this specifically. I was telling I was telling someone I was like, oh, my gosh, I really want to um have a uh, a um and I could like not figure out the word macaroon, but I knew exactly what it was. I knew I knew the word and I was like craving it and I was like what like I had had one before, but for the life of me I could not think of the word and it was like so close. Yeah, 
happens a lot of times to people who are, like I said, anorexic, um, but then also who are on Adderall because they forget to eat and they're running low on sleep. If you're like, maybe your dosage is too high or something like that. Yeah. Again, I'm not a medical for professional, but I'm, I ain't no dummy. I know that this is not healthy. So let's do that. Okay, so today it does show that we are in ketosis mode. Now I use the ketone strips here. Um, I actually ordered this off of Amazon from Nurse Hattie ketone test strips. Um, the good thing about this is that it actually has it on the side to where you can test it. So looking at my stick, I would say that it's here. A little here, there, either or. We have a large amount of ketones, ketosis in us, ketones in us. So um, this is great. That means that our body is in fat burning mode. So we're gonna continue to burn. The but like, yeah, because you're not eating anything. So this makes absolutely no sense. The fat and day four, let's get it. All right guys, so day four complete. This is day five. I'm actually feeling great. Um, didn't get hungry at all. Um, feel like I have a lot of energy. Doing these days, I'm also doing some light cardio as well. Um, so just want to kind of get some workout in also along with this. And you don't get um, feeling faint or anything like that just because I'm on liquids. Um, so it doesn't hurt anything. It's not. So you're not going to pass out. Don't worry. If you don't eat and you are working out, yes, there's a high chance that you're going to pass out. Like this is not healthy, not healthy at all. So imagine eat, just being a normal human throughout your day without even, without even working out, just living. Your body is burning calories. You can burn anywhere from 1,200 to, depending on who you are and what you do, but like 1,200 to, I don't fucking know, like 3,000 calories a day without even working out. But then add a workout on top of that. So then let's say you're like burning 3,000 to 4,000 calories a day. She's only intaking s around 600 calories a day. That calorie deficit is crazy and extremely unhealthy. Like your body is eat eating itself essentially so that you don't die. This is such a scam and so like this isn't even a, I don't even want to say it's not a scam because yes it is. It's extremely unethical, but this is so dangerous. Like this is so dangerous. This could harm and probably has harmed so many people, so many people. Because think about it. Some people are probably like, oh my gosh, well, if I could lose 18 pounds in one week, then I should do it, you know, two weeks in a row. And then I'll be like at my goal weight. And it's like, that's not how life works. You're going to, right when you pop like one cube of cheese into your mouth, you're going to gain it all back and more. It doesn't hurt anything. It's not going to kill you. So you can still work out also. But she just said it's not going to kill you. Yeah, starving yourself isn't going to kill you. Don't worry. Definitely. It's like when it's like when the MLM girls say it's not a scam. Don't worry. It's not a scam. It's not sketchy. It's totally legal. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so this is day five. We're almost at the finish line, guys. So stay strong. Let's keep pushing and let's get it. Last way in, it's Tuesday, June 9th. Let's see where we're at. So here's a before and after of my face, both of which are heavily, heavily filtered. And I'm not, I'm in different lighting and I'm not even facing the camera the same way. <sighs> this is so frustrating and so deceiving and I can't stand it. All right, so as you can see, one week of, of only liquids, I got down 18 pounds. That's a lot of weight in one week. Now, I know a lot of it is water weight, but hey, I'll still take it. It's 18 pounds. But um, one thing I do want to do is remind you all to hit that subscribe button. Click on those notifications. I got more um, things like this to come. So I definitely want you to stay in tune with everything. Um, click that like button. Also, leave a comment below. Follow me on Instagram as well at kick, kick weight with Keisha. So once again, thank you for watching the show. The way her eyelash was in that last one, I think it was just the filter, but she looked like one of those, like one of those dolls that like when you 
like lay down it closes its eyes when it comes up it goes like that and sometimes they'll have like the broken eye I think it was just the filter and then her lash, but that's funny. Um, however, you know what's not funny is encouraging people to do this and like selling selling this as something that will help you actually be able to like be healthy and maintain your weight and, and all that shit. So absolutely wild. Um, so she has a take action challenge. What's included in that is a weekly meal plan. I hope it's more than just water and other th- stuff. Um, so keto and intermittent fasting. Do you mean j- the just fasting? Because it sounds like you mean just fasting. Um, unlimited access to Coach Keisha, keto grocery list, private Facebook group. And then it says purchase. So let's see how much money this is. $125 for a four-week challenge, June 12th to July 10th. That is crazy. And then, of course, like I said, she is promoting the, you know, like waist trainers and and stuff like that that isn't really like great for you. It's just not it's just not it. And there's before and afters of all these people and on her thing. And it's just it's really, really, really upsetting because I wonder how many of these people were actually able to maintain it and didn't have, you know, issues. Um, It reminds me of who was it? Was it Black China? One of one of those people, I can't remember who it was, but just like waist trainers in general, like you see it, even the Kardashians, I don't know if they're still promoting them, but even the Kardashians were, or, you know, promote that type of shit too. And it's not, it's not okay. It is not okay. You're squishing your organs and you got to be able to breathe when you work out. You got to be able to move. And that's just not what is happening here. Um, one thing that I do find interesting, and that was a big red flag for me when I was looking at all of her stuff <laughs> at the bottom of her site. First of all, it says certified W-B-E-N-C, which is Women's Business Enterprise. I don't mean shit. Just like the, the false credentials, essentially. And then Keisha can also be seen in New York Wire, Yahoo Finance, Los Angeles Wire, and Access Wire. Why are, what's, why are there so many wires? And also... You know who else can be seen in Yahoo Finance? A bunch of scammers, which is really, really frustrating. Really, really, really frustrating. So a lot of times what happens is they will pay to have these articles written about them in hopes that not only it gives them more credibility, but then also in hopes that it'll help them get verified on social media platforms. Now, you can typically tell when you look at these at these articles, like they're a lot of the times they're kind of poorly written, but then also and not just the Yahoo Finance ones, but the other ones as well. Um, or they'll be kind of like copy and pasted from another article. So if you like compare articles that are written about people, they'll be like essentially just the same, which is annoying. But then also like it's not like an interview. It's not like <laughs> it's not a story. It's like a weird highlight. And yes, you can pay to be included on a lot of these websites. I I have received emails, people asking, and it's, and they do this a lot with influencers, and they'll be like, oh, do you want to be included in this publication, and this publication, and this one? I ignore that shit, but yeah, a lot of the times they'll do that, and people, influencers, content creators, scam artists like this lady, in my opinion, they'll act like, they'll act like that's just, it's just so credible, even on her Instagram it specifically says on there as seen on Yahoo Finance. And it's like, girl, what? But of course, that's just a way for them to try to add credibility to their name. And so that people will see that and be like, oh, well, Yahoo Finance wouldn't have like Yahoo Finance. Come on. Come on. They they wouldn't have they wouldn't, uh, you know, put this person on there unless they like weren't a scammer. I can trust Yahoo Finance. It's like you can't trust all the writers, though, that like submit shit to any of these sites. OK, Not to, you know, doggone journalists, but sometimes you can't trust them. You can't trust everybody. A lot of people can be paid off, okay? Anyways, like I said, I will be linking some great accounts for you to follow down below. They are awesome. I really appreciate them. They have helped me a lot. Um, It's real frustrating to see these types of deceptive marketing practices, especially when they are so freaking dangerous and upsetting. Please take care of yourself. You only have one body. Please take care of it. Please take care of it. Move your body. Don't eat garbage. Or you can eat garbage if you want. Who cares? Like just everything in moderation. Please don't starve yourself. Like do not listen to these people. It is not okay. It's gross and extremely unhealthy. Also, like I said at the beginning of this video and in my disclaimer on the title card, please do not 
harass this person. Please do not go to her page and, and do all that. Please do not DM him. Do DM him? DM her. Please do not interact at all. I'm not accountable for it if you do, but don't do it, please. I mean, that could like make me look bad, okay? That could make it look, I can say all day long, don't do that, don't do that. But then people will still be like, well, you're bullying them and you should have known. It's like, I'm, I don't care. I'm not accountable for other people's actions, but still, please, for the love of the flying spaghetti monster, please don't do that, okay? Just be smart. <laughs> under just essentially don't give your money to anyone on the internet okay please don't there's no super quick way to lose weight consistency patience and actually you know putting good things into your body and working out i've been working out for our six months consistently and i'm finally seeing results it takes a while okay there's no quick fix So remain spicy, stay spicy, be spicy, be assertive, keep your boundaries up, know that no matter what your body looks like, what you feel like right now, you are beautiful, you are valuable, you are important, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.